Hello everyone, I just want to give you a quick intro on this video. Unfortunately, my GoPro went into time-lapse mode. Around 8 o'clock this morning, I left to go to Bethlehem Steel Stacks for the Cars and Coffee finale for 2023. It was a great show, lots of cars, great weather. Got some really good shots, walked around, got some great shots of the steel stacks, the furnaces themselves. So enjoy this video and thank you for watching. This is what's really nice, an Alante. Looks great. Front wheel drive, North Star. Yeah, good stuff. Here we're in another lot. This lot isn't as good, but it's got some good ones, a couple of good cars. On one hand, I want that setup. On another hand, overlanding in a parking lot in the middle of Bethlehem. I'm not sure if that's really the best thing. Oh look, a, Mi a free Miata Miata. Okay, here's a rare one. Supercharged MR2 first gen T tops. I prefer my Fieros, but this one. This is one of the best. You don't really, a lot of these rotted out, so you really don't see them. Okay, had to reseat my GoPro here. This is Speedster. I mean, this is. Wow. Because I don't want to get too close to it. Don't know how original. Don't care. This just looks really. Just on the interior there. It's really nice. Looks good in the movies. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> then we got a Lotus here. Just normally don't see these. Some other cars coming in. Got a Mini Cooper. Oh. So this wagon. What's so special? Why is it up here? Really simple. Twitter. 
Really nice Z06. Got some more cars trickling in. Like if I show up at 3 a.m., no one's here. I can just park right here and boom. Yeah. All right, Josh. Got a coyote and a cobra. <laughs> Here's the KR, getting shots uh, for some research for a project that family members working on. There's someone who's building something like this, but what they're doing is they're uh, they put a coyote motor. It wasn't a Shelby. Oh yeah. I did not know they made black license plates again for PA. We're in Porsche. We're in Porsche land here. Couple of RS's. things about the steel stacks in Bethlehem you're able to walk right up by the old power plants by every by all the old equipment we're gonna have later on we're gonna be walking up by the steel stacks themselves it's all shut down in the mid 90s but if you ever get the opportunity to go here, I highly recommend it. It's one of the one of the night. It's great for repurposing. One thing I don't like is they need to do a little bit better job of landscaping up here, but this is this is where a lot of steel got made for the ships and for the buildings for the US here. See the, the hills of Bethlehem. New additions that ArcQuest put in. A little bit of info on the house blower. There you go. I wonder, did they remove? There used to be an old train car up here. I wonder if they removed that. view up here is amazing. I always liked it. And that tall building, that's the original Bethlehem Steel headquarters. Before it moved to Martin, Martin Tower. That train, that weird train thing is still here.
I practice where they pick this location. This is a fire location. But. This train car thing is weird. No idea what it did. It's down below. Absolutely nothing. I hear water running, so. I'm gonna try to get a good shot of everything here. Okay, this place is packed. It's good for a season finale. Sometimes it's dead for these, sometimes it's not. Weather's good. I think I'm gonna do some more walking around without filming, just relaxing. So, good show. Now my GoPro is wired up like a Christmas tree because I didn't charge it last night. So. I ended up, yeah, my GoPro is wired up like a Christmas tree right now. because I forgot to charge it last night. My engine's bigger than his, but his bike is much faster. Nice C3, nice. It's gonna send me up on 78. Boo. That's not twisty. We're on Stone's Throw Road right now. So, this was the road that I was on earlier. That was just really, I was a little surprised of how tight and twisty it was. This was also the road that had a lot of deer on it. So I just gotta take it easy and just watch out for the deer. They're out. We're starting to get into rut. Let's see, it's September, October next month. It'll be rut season. And uh, as a motorcyclist, I start to change when I ride. It's also daylight savings time. Uh, usually goes hand in hand for me. So my issue is, is it the deer with daylight savings? It's the, uh, especially that first week, that's when you have your most accidents in the year, when the time change, because we as humans can't comprehend it. And you'll get a lot more car accidents or just people being goofy behind the wheel. So that's when I like to change my, my riding uh, habits. Or, or I'll take the car that way, just to be extra safe. Uh, what happened was years ago, I was working in Michigan. The weather was warm enough where I could ride to work or we had daylight savings time. And, oops, and within, like we had traffic circles on my way to work. Well, in each traffic circle, it was me and one other per, me and one or two other people. And 
I mean, I was doing, I was flowing like I should. They were just, they were in their own little worlds. And I was like, all right. I said, I'm parking the bike for the year. Because back then, you know, we had winters in Michigan. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have one this year. I kind of hope we do. Uh, give me some downtime on this. Do some work. I got so, I got some things to take care of. Some suspension stuff. Some other stuff. Uh, last year... Last year was so... Warm. I mean, I rode every month. I rode every month, and I would have rode more if I would have figured out that hesitation issue. And I'm glad I did find that hesitation issue. But I, I went around about that all wrong. You stick with one system at a time. You stick with the ignition system if you think it's that, and you replace everything. You stick with the fuel system. And luckily, just talking to some people on the BMW forums. And once I saw the amount of rust that was in the fuel tank, or in the fuel filter, I was like, oh, yeah. So, but the bike's been running pretty good. I, you know, I'd like the fuel economy to be, you know, better, but it's a big 1150 GS with Jesse bags. There's only so much you can do. I mean, this is basically the way we took on the way out. I don't know if I'm going to take 5th Street or if it'll make me take 2nd Street this time. It might make me take 2nd Street this time. And 2nd Street has a little hairpin, but it's not, it's not as crazy as 5th Street. 5th Street's hairpin is like the worst. Compared to, uh, well, it's not the worst, but it's like more difficult. It's more challenging. I do like this sweeper, though. This one's always one of my favorites. I can really get it low. I think, is this how you... I don't know if this is the way you get to the planet. We do have a planetarium in town. I don't know if that's the way you get to it. Got the sweeper here. Same deal, you can really. Uh, I should ask the wife if she wanted breakfast. Oh, you know what, she wants breakfast. She's taking the Vespa out this morning for something. So she might go get breakfast herself. This light is taking forever. There it goes. Nice 90 degree twisties, returns. And I'm staying on my side of the road, it's not that hard. Oh my god, a silver wing! That's cool. CX500 Silverwing, Silverwing over there. It, Honda's attempt at being like Moto Guzzi. It's a 
nice little road because you got some twisties, but you got some quick elevation changes. Yeah, it's making me go up Fifth Street again. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might. Part of me wants to ride through town a little bit. So, yeah, but it's 10 o'clock, so farmer's market started. saying farms um, we did get oh there's an open house up there there is a winery I've been meaning to take my uh, wife up there and see what they got maybe in a couple weeks because we like to do our Friday night date nights at the microbrews and the distillery maybe we, we'd switch it up and try that out Now I gotta remember, there's a stop sign up here. Because I, I forgot, almost forgot last time, ABS worked perfect though. Did not drop the bike or anything, did not have any issues with that. So, my uh, BMW ABS is still going strong. And luckily it's the good one that isn't stupid expensive, so. And that's impossible to the replace. I'm also tempted to see how the sound quality is because I went back to plugging straight into the go oh we got deer hi deer get away yep one of them's a baby I did see them around here earlier today This guy's turning right, I'm going straight. I'm going right. D Tech is so screwed up, it's like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, you got a bear right here. I'm like, what, what do you think I'm supposed to do? It's such... It's such a tight turn that it couldn't comprehend it. The other thing is, when I was growing up, because they had all this place always had a lot of tractors outside, so I was like, it's a tractor place. I always liked it when mom and dad or the grandparents would drive up this way to go to Emmaus. Uh, so the question is, do I go through town and show you how busy the farmer's market is? Oh. So I might do that. Uh, 
I love the farmer's market. I might actually go to the farmer's market. Uh, I might talk to the wife if it's anything. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll... I think we'll go through the farmer's market. Just because I, I, I really like it and I really recommend it for anyone. Uh, we got some really good vendors. Personally, my favorite is Bad Farm. Uh, they have really good cheese. I'm going to turn right onto Broad Street. I don't care what you say, D Tech. Look at that, the house. Like, the, there's like no panels. It's kind of see through. I'm turning right onto Broad Street. Full pays, eh, full pays is okay. So here we are in Emmaus. Uh, here's the farmer's market. And that Dotson was at Cars and Coffee. And there's no parking. Watch this, this is cool. I still think I should bring the Vespa. But that should be it for today. Um, I'll catch some of you guys later. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I got some more coming up. I've been in a rut right now just with making stuff. So probably I'm gonna get back on the horse And uh, try to do some new things to get some interest in my YouTube channel. So, alright, good luck guys, have fun, talk to you later.